CAA175 certification. This is Spark and Hadoop developer. Usually, the, the thing is, um, the thing is with the with the Cloudera courses, uh, what I see a lot of people uh, ask, oh, what do you think uh, about this uh, Cloudera certification and how to how to uh, do this certification? What do I need to learn to do this uh, to uh, to get this certification? The thing is, with uh, with Cloudera, um, the certification it's the th the stuff is built like usually you do the course the Cloudera course for instance the Spark developer course and then after this course you can do the certification because in the course you get you're learning the the you're learning all the stuff that you need to um to pass the certification to get the certification so it doesn't make sense for you as well to to do the certification because then you have a certification and you're learning specifically it's like we did at the university you have you know you know what uh, what topics are coming up in the test um because they tell you yeah look at uh, this and this and and this and they are telling you about 10 10 things you know about seven of them are coming through and then you're learning specifically for for these 10 things but uh, over the over the uh, the semester you learned fifty, and so you're learning uh, exactly for for you're learning more for the test than for life, and this is always bad. And I know this from from personal experience, and it doesn't make sense to get the certification if you don't do the do the 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 training beforehand. The problem is for a for a private person like you and me. I would never do this uh, the the course because the course costs um over two thousand dollars so usually an employer tells you or or, or uh, uh, um, spends the money on you to give you the course to sponsor you the course so you learn stuff that you're using in practice that you're using in your daily work and then it makes sense but beforehand if if you come to me with a with a with a Cloudera certification first thing i'm going to ask is if you have done the course because if you only do the certification that doesn't make sense for me